This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. Or is it Sky Sports News, Spencer? I don't know. I can I get away with saying that today? I think, I think we can go away with Sky Sports News here. I think we've got the right settings. We're in the right surroundings. And um, we've got a big event coming up. So why not? Let's All go right, for okay, it. Let's go. This is Coogan Cassius for Sky Sports News HD. And I film London. Uh, with me, I've got Spencer Oliver. What's happening, Spencer? You all right? You good? I'm all good, yeah. I'm looking forward to the fight Saturday night. Um, you know, been, been with the guys now since Monday. I was with Cole Froch Monday, Mikel Kessler Tuesday. Press conference yesterday, and every day we're getting closer to the fight. You know, it, it's building, the drilling's starting to pump, and I'm really excited for this one. You know, very rarely do you get fights of this magnitude that get you so excited, and, and this one has for me. The first fight absolutely delivered. Um, Kessler getting the nod, you know, uh, probably a fair decision. Yeah. Um, is there pressure on this fight to live up to the reputation of the first fight? I think there is pressure, yeah. I think that, you know, it, people are expecting pretty much the same as what they got in the first fight. And, and, and we will get that. Styles make fights. And, you know, these two, I think if anyone's going to change tactics, it's going to be Cole Froch. He's been talking um, about his offense, more, uh, about his defense more than his offense in this fight. He's been saying that he's been working on his defense more defence more, and, and that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting him to come out for a couple of rounds, keep it nice and tight, but you know what these guys are like. They're two warriors, they're two world champions, and the way they both like to fight is by coming forward. You know, so at some point in this competition, they're going to lock horns, and they're going to let their shots go, and I'm expecting um, maybe as good, if not as good, better than the last fight. Now, I know that's a big shout because the last one was a real barnstormer, but I'm expecting the same in this fight, and both guys, let me tell you, are really up for this. Would you class this as a potentially career-ending fight for either fighter if they lose? Yeah, definitely. I think where, where, did, where does the loser go? You know, they're at that stage of their careers. You know, they've been in the Super Six. They've been world champions. They're right at the very, very top. You know, this is the pin pinnacle of both of their careers. And I'm expecting the loser, you know, like Cole Froch has already, uh, already expressed this, that if he loses, he'll be devastated. His career will be over. Same for Mikel Kessler. You know, he's fighting one fight at a time at the moment since his eye injury, where he told his career was over, unless it healed within a year. Eight months down the road, the eye still hadn't healed. So, you know, he sees this as a second chance. And he, he says that he takes each fight at a time at the moment. So I think that for both of these guys, it means so much. And that's why we're going to get an exciting fight, because they both realise... Lose here, career over. Um, a bit of a strange situation uh, with the chief support, uh, George Groves and Al Koba, but there's this simmering rivalry between Carl Froch and George Groves, which yeah. was quite evident at the press conference yesterday. Uh, when I interviewed George Groves, he actually said that he had heard that there was a separate undercard press conference because Carl didn't want George to be part of the, the main press conference. Now, I don't know if that's true. That's what yeah. George was suggesting that he'd heard. Uh, what do you make of this whole Frotch and Groves saga? I think it's more a case of George Groves, David Hay, Haymaker, trying to get Groves the recognition, getting him up there, trying to get him. You've got to remember, Cole Frotch has earned his stripes. He's done it the hard way. He's been out to the States. He's boxed the best. George Groves, rightly so, you know, he's looking to get onto that platform. So he's calling Cole Frotch out, trying to jump on the bandwagon. But, you know, I don't, I don't read too much into that, to tell you the truth. I spoke to Cole Frotch about this, and he's not worried at this stage of his career about George Groves. You know, George Groves has got to go and earn his stripes, and he's got to do that, by the way, on Saturday night against Gonzalez, who can punch with either hand. And this could be a real difficult night for George Groves, but... Joves, um, Groves jumping on, on, on Cole Frotch's back. I don't really read too much into that. Frotch at the moment is, you know, is, 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 is at a different level. Um, who do you think would give Cole Frotch more problems out of uh, f um, De Gaulle and Groves? I think probably De Gaulle would give um, Cole Frotch more because De Gaulle's movement is better. And I think against someone like Cole Frotch, you can't go at him. I think if you go at Cole Frotch, you're going to come unstuck. The only person in the world that could go at Cole Frotch is Mikel Kessler. And that, that's the excitement of this fight. I mean, Kessler can, is the only one that can go at him because he's the only one as strong as Cole Frotch. But, um, yeah, I think that George Groves, if he, if he went at Cole Frotch, would get taken apart. And I think that... Um, James DeGale likes to box on the back foot. He's got these flashy little moves. So I think definitely um, DeGale would give him more problems than Groves. And do you think that Mikel Kessler or Carl Froch are capable of beating Andre Ward? 
I'm not so sure. You, I think that the winner's going to come out on a real high. I think Cole Frotch is buzzing at the moment anyway. You know, he's had that good win against Lucien Butte last time against Youssef Max. So, you know, Cole Frotch is the one that's on the real high at the moment. I'm not sure that Kessler could beat Andre Ward, but if Cole Frotch comes through this fight, he's, you know, he's going to be, he, his confidence is going to go through the roof. And that makes him a real dangerous fighter. And I think that if he beats Kessler, he can beat Ward. Just finally, what are your thoughts on a potential fight between Carl Froch and uh, Bernard Hopkins? Be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, Bernard Hopkins just seems to be getting better and better. I mean, unbelievable last time out against Trout. He was what, like 48 years of age. Just, just when you thought this has got to be the end, the geezer pulls out a performance of a lifetime. Absolutely unbelievable. So, you know, it's a difficult one for Froch, but I just feel that, you know, that may be another 12 months down the road and... and and he's not getting any younger Bernard Hopkins, and you just feel that your money would have to go on Cole Froch. And just a quick word on Aubrey Harrison's comeback again, Spencer. Gutted about that. Really gutted about it. You know, just what, you know, fair play to Aubrey. He's been a European champion. He's been an Olympic champion. He won the prize fighter. I just wanted to see the end, man. That last performance, you know, he got taken apart um, against um, Donatello Wilder. And you should, you know, you should say, right, enough's enough. That's it. All your credibility is going to go. Um, he built a little bit of credibility back, you know, after the David Hay one. He went and won prize fight and stuff. He should call it a day, man. It's, it's sad that he, he's continuing. I think it's, I think it's a sad day. All right, well, Spencer, thank you very much for coming into our studios and um, help yourself to lemonade and scones, <laughs> which are out on there. And just if you look over there, you're just there. That's more than you get in the real life Sky Studios. Let me yeah. tell you that. That's all on the <laughs> iFilm London account and um, toilets to the left. And uh, yeah, just help yourself. Whatever you want, just tell us. Tell us on iFilm well, London. Chaps, you know what? I feel like I've been treated like a king here. Thanks very much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Right, this is Coogan Cassius with Spencer Oliver here for iFilm London. We'll see you after the break. Thank you very much. Good. 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 Good.